I was sitting on a hard floor surrounded by six or seven bodies sleeping with just one blanket and no pillows and it was about 12 o'clock at night maybe one in the morning and in my arms sitting there resting on my shoulder was an 11 year old boy and there he was telling me his life story about what it was like for him growing up in Zimbabwe you see his mother had to go overseas um, to another country sorry to Mozambique to get some work and he was left there all alone with his stepfather who was extremely physically violent and he had to make a decision when he was eight years old would he stay with his stepfather and potentially run the risk of dying due to the physical abuse or would he take the chances and go and run away and live on the streets in a hope to find a better life so he he chose uh, to live on the streets and when he was on the streets he ended up being subject to quite a lot of abuse, malnutrition and all the horrendous things that happens to an eight-year-old boy living on the streets. So between the ages of eight and eleven that was his life and as he was sitting there in my arms and I was looking down at him tears were rolling down my face tears were rolling down my cheeks and he looked up at me with hope in his eyes yet with so much pain that my heart broke in that moment and I said to him apart from your mother coming back what do you want more than anything anything in this world and he looked up at me and he said he goes Megan I want to go to school I want to be educated and go to school and I looked down on him and in that moment I had to make a decision and I looked to, down to him and I said for as long as I'm alive and you need to I will help you go to school and from that moment on I um, was determined that not just him but the 14 other children that were living in the same home as him that all had a similar background to him would go to school so I researched um, partnered with a local organization called Our Neighbours and while I was there I wrote a three-month program there were two other volunteers as part of the time and um, and we we got two other people employed two teachers to go out to their home and to educate them I came back to Australia and my husband and I we registered a charity called Edge Foundation and we were determined that no matter what we were going to provide education for children in Zimbabwe that had no other option of going to a mainstream school because they had either missed so much schooling that they would be say 12 years old and in grade one or their health or some reason why they could not go to a mainstream school we set up a school for them and it's an internationally recognized uh, program that we do a curriculum called the ACE program and now four and a half years later we have 40 children at school and we also own a building outright um, about less than a kilometer from the city center where the children go every day but we don't just provide these kids with education we also provide them with a meal a day we provide them with breakfast and with lunch because you see most of these children they can't even afford to eat their parents if they have parents or their guardians can't even afford to feed them so the meal that we give them is sometimes the only meal that they have and we also provide them access to a social worker and um, we look into their home situation and how we can support them at home so it's a real holistic approach we also provide them with music lessons with drumming from a local organization with um, sport we give them opportunities to compete nationally and internationally with other schools and um, four or five sorry of our students got to go to South Africa just last year and compete and they came second and they they got to actually compete in America however we we couldn't justify the funds in sending them there but these are the opportunities that we provide for these children that if it wasn't for the school Lighthouse Christian Academy is what it's called they named it that um, 
and our foundation is called Edge Foundation. So if it wasn't for the collaboration between us and our neighbours who runs a school for us while we're over here, these children would not have hope. And it's so important to educate kids, especially girls, because it means that they're less likely to have to get married younger and um, they're likely to have fewer children and um, their life expectancy increases. It's a real community approach if you educate a child and we're educating 40 children in this community. But you see, we can't continue to do this. We can't continue just, we can't continue to show these kids a safe place, a loving place where they're educated and cared for and fed and they're also clothed because we provide them with uniforms and warm jumpers without your support and this is where we need you because my husband and I can't continue to fund the expenses um, on an ongoing basis it costs us around three to three and a half thousand dollars per month to keep the school going so imagine if we got on our um, Edge Foundation's Facebook page even a thousand likes and every person donated the equivalent of five dollars a month imagine the difference it could make because we have got 10 to 20 children on a waiting list that we could get to our school we've got the room for it we just don't have the funds who are like this boy in that situation with no hope for a future they 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 don't know what's going to happen to them in life they're not shown any love they're not safe they're not being fed properly and that's what we can give them but we really need you and we can't do this without you so I really want to encourage you to like our Facebook page which is um, www.facebook.com forward slash um, edge foundation and like our and check out our website which is uh, www.edgefoundation.org.au but if you like our Facebook page that's where we um, continually put on updates and um, photos and you can stay in the loop but we really need this three thousand dollars a month so whatever you can give and the best part is if you live in Australia then it's also tax deductible for any donation over twenty dollars so partner with us sponsor a student or give a one-off donation but even if you just gave the equivalent of five dollars a month then that would make a massive difference in these children's lives because it ultimately is about them. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about them. And education is the key to one of the main keys to eradicating poverty. So join me, join us, and give kids like this young boy a future. Thank you very much for your time.